Hey everyone, so today I am very excited because I'm pretty sure everyone has a plant that they've always wanted to grow and just haven't been able to. I have one here. This is a Dandy Man color wheel rhododendron. I've been absolutely in love with rhododendrons, but we just haven't had the space to grow it or we just never pulled the trigger on buying it because, uh, you know, different circumstances of things that we are already growing. But uh, this year for my birthday, I've actually had this guy for about a month now and it's been sitting in this container and I was just waiting for it to bloom uh, to get it planted in a container because I didn't want to disturb it. I absolutely wanted to see those blooms and as you can see, it absolutely looks beautiful. Now the very interesting thing about this rhododendron is that when it blooms, it has these bright red flowers as you can see all over here and then when it opens up, it turns into this nice beautiful blossom pink and we haven't seen the final stages of this but it turns into a very bright white color as it starts to fade away so it is a very interesting uh flower pattern or color pattern for that matter <clears throat> with this rhododendron so very excited to have this in the garden very excited to get this planted now this guy is a full sun to part shade plant we have this guy in the part shade area it does get a good amount of sun in the mornings but as that sun rolls over we get a nice shaded area for this rhododendron and it's absolutely doing beautiful uh, I don't see any burn on the leaves or that nice forest green color that absolutely contrasts perfectly with the colors of the flowers on the on the rhododendron. Um, it also grows to about eight to nine feet. Um, so it's a pretty big rhododendron once you get in the ground. Um, we're going to put it in a container, so it's not going to obviously get that big here. But once we get to a permanent home, we'll put this guy in the ground and absolutely just let it take off and do whatever it wants to. Okay, so before we plant the rhododendron, one thing I wanna mention is one thing I like to do whenever I plant any shrubs in containers is I like to use big bark mulch in the bottom of my containers. The reason for that is I like my containers to drain out really, really well. And for this rhododendron, it likes well-drained soil. In addition to that, it likes acidic soil. So once I get it planted, uh, I'm gonna use some biotone in the soil initially. And then once it gets planted, I'll go ahead and put some holly tone over the top so it gets that nice acidic fertilizer. Um, that this rhododendron absolutely loves. All right, so I'm gonna get my soil here and I'm gonna add just a generous amount in the bottom there so I have a nice base layer to start with. I actually put a little bit too much, but we'll just spread that around a bit. Just gonna push it over to the side so I can get this plant in there. And then just put some biotone in there so the roots take absolutely nicely in this container and that way i don't have any uh plant shock like i said these blooms are beautiful i don't want anything to happen to them i'm absolutely enjoying them and they just look lovely in the garden all right so i'm going to add some of my biotone in here just add about half a cup in there just around the edges there so when i get this plant in there those roots absolutely hit it now this container is a bit small for a rhododendron of this size or any plant of this size for that matter it's still a little bit high so we're gonna have to move it out just a bit get rid of some of this soil real quick but that being said the container is again a little bit small for this size shrub um, that's just one thing that we have learned to deal with living in an area with a small space to garden in um, you absolutely want to up pot um, any shrub of this size if you have the room to do so, um, I know for a fact we are moving. So we eventually will have a bigger garden to garden in. And this guy may not even go in another container. It just might go into the ground somewhere. All right. So just want to make sure this guy is straight. I'm going to go ahead and move him over a little bit so you guys can see me. But just want to make sure he's nice and straight before I start compacting soil around him now I want to leave the crown of the plant just even with the container or a little bit higher but because I know it's going to drain really really well I'm not really worried too much about it being right even with the container all right so I am done planting I've made an absolute mess on the table here but very very happy very very excited um what i'll do is i'll go ahead and water this guy in and set it where he's gonna go the soil will settle a little bit so i'll go ahead and add another layer of soil on top there but going back to the uh, rhododendron i was worried that and i still am worried 
that it might go into shock, but uh, being that it's still in the early stages of spring here, um, it's still a little cool. It's not too hot. I'm hoping that this guy is going to root the way it needs to and absolutely love this new container and continue to bloom the way it's going to bloom. Now, the blooms won't last too much longer into the, towards the end of spring, but I'm sure I'm going to have a show because as you can see here, there's still a lot of buds that have yet to open on the inside of the plant. These right here on the outside, which are more exposed to the sun. So they're opening first, but it absolutely looks beautiful. It's a beautiful show. And I can't wait to put this guy in his spot back here in the secret garden where it's going to flourish and absolutely look beautiful. I mean, it's just a specimen that uh, I've always wanted to grow. I just haven't had the opportunity to get one or actually have one in the garden because of such a small space. But um, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my review of this plant and getting it planted in a container because it's an absolute beauty of a plant to have in the garden anywhere. Um, so that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.